What's up? Bobby here from You Started For A Reason, and today's meme is, the more you are thankful, the more you attract things to be thankful for. So today, I want to talk about gratitude. And I actually went on a walk, so I'm going to take you out with me for the walk. It was such a beautiful day. I had a lot of inspiration, so I wanted to talk about gratitude when I was walking around. So let's go, and uh, I'll take you for a walk. We'll talk about gratitude, and we'll come back. Going out for a walk every day is probably one of the most important things you can do for yourself. It's really beautiful out today, so I wanted to take you for a walk with me. Normally, I would be inside if it's cold riding a bike or in the gym, riding a treadmill. But what I like about walking around the neighborhood, even just for a little bit, is looking around me and seeing all the beautiful things. Birds, little rabbits, all kinds of cool shit. And it's cathartic, it really is, every day. Even if it's five minutes. So get your journal out. Be grateful. Have gratitude. What you focus on, you get more of. And that's an important lesson about the law of attraction. See, a lot of people think the law of attraction is, I wish for it, and then let the universe give it to me. It don't work like that. Sure, it sounds cool in marketing, but the reality of it is, is you got to do something. You're going to do a little something. Because the universe can only do so much without you. And when things start to happen, find gratitude. Sometimes it's the smallest thing, like a parking spot. Or, you know, maybe a royalty check that came in the mail. Could be for four bucks. It don't matter. Have gratitude. I'm not trying to say fake it until you make it. I'm saying genuine, honest gratitude. And that's what I am right now. I'm very grateful. I love listening to the sounds of cars passing by. I love that sound. I love being able to see a, a bird floating above me. Yesterday I saw a really big bird. It's huge. It's like a hawk or something. It's just gliding. It didn't even have to flap its wings. Just floating there. It's just cool. Gratitude. I'm grateful for the energy I have to actually pull this camera out and talk to you today. You see, if we're not grateful for what we already have, how can we ever appreciate what we want when we get it? How do we know? How do you celebrate getting what you want when you're not even grateful for what you have? So that's a lesson for you today. As I take you on my journey, I might have even some more insights to give you. So it makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to get your journal out. And I want you to write down five things that you're grateful for. Five things. And I want you to do this daily for the next seven days. And every single day, it's got to be something different. Okay? And I want you to apply that to your daily routine. And before you go to bed at night, I want you to read them. I want you to just read them. I know it sounds silly, but do it. And what you're going to notice is your energy level is going to be a little bit different. And you're going to find yourself attracting more things because you're going to be noticing things to be grateful for. And it's going to apply in the gym because it's going to give you the energy and the appreciation of what it is you're doing. And I want you to write down what you're grateful for in the gym as well. I am so thankful and grateful for my workout today. It made me feel great. And so on like that. So what I want you to do is get your journal out. Write down five things today. Do that for seven days, and I want you to reply back to me and how that's helped you. All right? We'll talk to you soon. I hope this finds everybody well. Peace.